Hey there! Today is day 15 and I haven't made a video in a few days and I probably um, want to explain to you a little bit like where I've been. I've been away for the weekend and here's what's happening. Um, I forgot to take my scale with me. Is that an excuse? No, it's a learning process. So I wasn't able to get my true weight for Saturday morning, Sunday morning, Monday morning. I got back um, Monday afternoon and uh, so I got to weigh myself on Tuesday and uh, my weight is um, down and basically overall of these five days pretty much maintained my weight and I'm not happy about it but it is what it is I made some choices because I didn't take my scale I didn't measure my food I um, like I said I got into the uh, wine I had wine one night which is not on my plan for weight loss but it was a bottle I got for Christmas I decided to get rid of it so it feels like this is confession time and um, the other thing too I've been experiencing with is is that when people want me to cook delicious food for them and and I can have it but it, it will hurt my weight loss when it interferes my weight loss I've been feeling like a little bit bad about that and so I've been feeling sorry for myself this round, which I don't normally do. So I told you guys about the mind being a powerful thing. So this is just mind over matter. It's something that um, I experienced on uh, the first part of my journey because it's your body. I think it's a body like it's like it's craving sugar. It's like trying to convince you you can eat it. It's trying to convince you that you need it. And so it becomes this battle like give me the quick fix. Give me the quick fix of sugar. Don't make me work it, work for it, and take the fat off your body. I want you to continue feeding me so I can take it directly from your bloodstream <coughs> and not from the fat on your body. My water bottle is way over there. <coughs> so sorry about that. I just don't want to redo this video because sometimes when I do my first take of the video, it's like from the heart and I'm not able to replicate that if I start the video over so you have to listen to me cough my eyes all watered up so um, another lesson to learn uh, because I was heading out of the house my water bottle is actually in my car I'm looking around and I can't see it so um, I, I have my big Wonder Woman mug and the reason why I have that is because I measure my water so so as game on um, I didn't have a loss today but I'm expecting one tomorrow because overall I really wasn't that bad so if anything like what happened to me in these five days it's what your lifestyle would be like if you maintain which I'm not trying to do I'm trying to lose but for maintenance you so you can have a glass of wine on the weekend okay so and that's like one day one meal however if you want to maintain but where um, the problem is is that when you don't want to maintain and like I don't know how to explain this here's where I'd be when I want to lose weight Here's what I want to be where I want to maintain. Here's where I want to be when I want to gain weight. So, so um, like it's teaching me this little maintain period, which is cool for down the road. And um, so, but here's where I want to be. Here's where maintain is. And here's where overeating is. So this is what I'm trying to get rid of on this journey. I'm trying to make this, I shouldn't say try. I don't like the word try. Try doesn't mean you're committed. This is going to be my last time I'm losing weight and I'm going to maintain it and I'm going to maintain it for a year, 10 years and you're going to hear me because my brother, he maintained his weight loss for a year and I didn't. And so uh, when I went back to my old eating habits, I got my old body back, which is not where I want to be. So I want to have a new body and I want to maintain it. So, so this is like where the struggle is from where I want to lose weight. I already know how to lose weight. Maintain. That is still a big mystery to me because even here at the maintenance level, which is where I've been for five days, um, that's not where I want to be either. Not right now. Maybe later, but not today. And this is my old lifestyle that I'm trying to shed. And that's the part right here in this old lifestyle that is saying, gimme, gimme, gimme the food, gimme the fat, gimme the, give me the quick fix, gimme the takeout food. All those delicious things. You could go back to eating them uh, but it's highly not recommended because a lot of it is just fillers. It's full of garbage. It's full of all those things that are going to trigger all those, uh, not allergies. It's going to trigger um, the sugar cravings, uh, the food cravings, 
So those are things that I'm trying to avoid on this journey so that I'm a happy camper. Anyway, enough for that. Um, I'm back. I am still doing daily videos and I have to start traveling with my scale because I prefer weighing myself on the same scale or if I had two of the exact same scales, um, which I don't feel like I want to go out and buy one. I think I just need to start traveling with mine so that I can look at it. And I know a lot of you are going to say it's not um, healthy to weigh yourself every day, but where I'm at, uh, the reason why I'm doing it is because I want to see how the food affects my body every day. And it's just a learning curve for me. I, I don't recommend it either for everybody. Anyway, press like and subscribe. Uh, your subscription means a lot. Leave me a comment. I appreciate all the chatter and, and I'm going to try to address all your questions if I can. Have a great day. See you tomorrow.